Hey guys, Dylan. Welcome back for another DVD update. I guess we should just get straight into it. I'm just going to do the handheld because there's some quite a few broken cases I want to show you and I just think it would be better to do it handheld. I'll try not to shake the camera around too much. really wish I had a tripod actually. Okay, let's do this. First up we have Tangled on Blu-ray. Um, this one I got from Disney Rewards Points actually. I hadn't seen it yet and I had enough points so I had to snap it up when they threw in some new prizes. Loads of great new prizes on there. Beauty and the Beast on Blu-ray, Bambi on Blu-ray, this, Tron Legacy on Blu-ray, it's awesome. They've got loads of great new prizes in there. So it's a double play, you get the Blu-ray and the DVD. So there's the Blu-ray. And there's the boring grey DVD and of course you get your rewards points. Already use the code. Don't try and steal it. Here's region A, B and C, so it's region 3. This is a great uh, Disney movie, I watched it the other day on looks. First of all, let me say it looks fucking awesome on Blu-ray. It looks really, really good. Really nice on Blu-ray. Um, but also it's just a really fun, um, cute little film. It's kind of the story of Rapunzel with a twist, I guess you could say. Um, that's probably one of the taglines somewhere out there for it. But it was, I really liked it. It was a, uh, it was a good little uh, fairy tale film. Um, it wasn't quite up to Pixar standards, but then again, you know, it's not Pixar, so I don't think it wasn't going to be, but it's probably better than Cars 2, which is out soon. Ugh. So that's Tangled on Blu-ray. It's going for pretty expensive, so if you have enough points, there's there's lots of great new Blu-rays and stuff on there. Then, in 2 for 20, I got the Exorcist um, Blu-ray. This one, you know, classic. I only saw it really, re well, Recently, I say probably last year. I saw it for the first time. I think it was. I rented it on DVD. I don't know if I was watching if I saw the theatrical cut or the director's cut, but I don't know. So I guess I know the director's cut has the spider walk scene in it, and I don't think I saw that. It doesn't ring a bell for me. But anyways, they've got disc one. It's got loads of different foreign ratings logos on it. And you've got disc two, which is upside down. It's got little. What's the face there? And I saw Exorcist 3 as well, which continues on from this one, which is quite good actually. Apparently it looks really stunning on Blu-ray, I haven't checked it out yet, but it's an awesome, awesome movie, you know, for essentially £10, you know, you can't go wrong with that. The scariest film of all time. Well, I'm not sure I go that far, but it's, it's up there. It's a really nice thing, and of course it comes in this nice slip case. Really nice, really great edition. And I think there's the American one in a in a book on those Blu-ray books. I think it might have been. Then we have this one, which I'm really happy to have. It's Resident Evil Afterlife Steelbook. This is the fourth Resident Evil. This was in the, the two for twenty. I've been wanting this for a while, but it's been too expensive. Then it did go down to a decent price, but then it's not in like it's not available on their website anymore. It's been deleted, but. It's in a 2 for 20 in a shop, a shop so I had to, had to get it. Uh, you know what, there are some of the Resident Evil films, the third and fourth one, like I've said before, Guilty Pleasures. So I guess now I have all of them. I really do enjoy them, and what can I say? They're not the best films, they have the problems, but they're fun action movies. And this one's a really nice deal, but I'll just uh, crack it open. Right, got the plastic off and it had this, this leaflet on the back with the anyway, banner there. Oh my god, this is so nice. I mean, I've seen it before online and stuff, but damn, that is just attractive, isn't it? That is really nice. That is a lush bag. This is a really good steelbook. Um, and then you've got the disc there. Once you take that out, if I can just get it out, there you go. You've got that nice artwork in the background. It's always nice when they put some artwork there. Yeah, really lush deal, but HMV exclusive in the UK, so good. Definitely get it in 2 for 20 if you can. There you go, still has it. The um, HMV is doing some really nice deal books at the moment. Uh, so recently they've just put out some great ones. I really want to get that Green Hornet one. Hopefully that'll go down in price eventually. Um, but that Resident Evil one is so super. And you've got a DVD movie, you've got The Borrowers. Uh, not the borrowers. This is a horror film set in the Old West, which Tom 
quick me a beer recommend to me. So you've got the disc there, it's the same as the cover pretty much. This is an old, I, I like this film a lot, I thought it was good actually. Um, not amazing or anything, but I did enjoy it. Not much to say on it. It was 2 dollars good price. Yeah, the borrowers, can't really say anything on it. Good flick. Then you got this one, which I've wanted to see for ages. Which everybody and their brother has, and has seen. It's The Social Network on DVD. Uh, this was five pounds in Sainsbury's. And I just, I was like, you know what, I don't care about having it on Blu-ray or anything. I just want to see this. And so, it was just, I did, I watched it, and it was good. Um, did anyone else notice, though, that, like, in the score, in the music, where sometimes in, like, the first half of the film, the score would be too, a bit too loud for you to hear the dialogue in the film. Like, that kind of was annoying. I don't know, if, maybe it was just my DVD, but I don't think it was. Uh, Social Network, disc one, the film. This two, the supplements. Nice kind of symbol artwork here on the discs. Two discs. Yeah, this was five pounds at Sainsbury's. Just wanted to see it. Thought it was really good. Jesse Eisenberg and uh, Spider Man were really good in it. Andrew Garfield. Um, and it was just, uh, yeah, it was a good film. You know, you, you think, oh, how can you make a film on Facebook? And of course, I, like many others, when it was first announced, I was like, oh, that sounds shit. But, but it's a very good film. Aaron Sorkin's script, you know. He's just, he writes brilliant scripts, I think. Now we get into the TV shows. You've got Northern Exposure, season two. I watched season one, thought it was a cute little show, so I got this three pounds he used from Weebuy. This one, this two. This is a fifth, wow, this is a 15. Okay, that's weird. Um, what's annoying though is, look, it says music may differ from televised version. Doesn't bug me because I don't watch televised version, but that's, that's a shame, it isn't. They couldn't get the rights to the original music. Season 2, yeah, it's a cute little show set in, but a doctor in this small town, this quirky small town. It reminded me a bit of Twin Peaks, aside from, well, like, Twin Peaks without the crazy dark underbelly. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was £3, that was a good price for it, so I haven't watched season 2 yet, but it's like six episodes, so it won't take too long. Then you've got one of my new favourite shows. That I know DVDM loves. It's Cougar Town season one. Fucking awesome shows, so good, so fun and quirky and just awesome. There's the back. It's just, it's just it's such a bizarre show, but in a good way. So we got four discs. Uh, that is broken. I bought this used as well, and that's broken. So that disc does fall out. It does fall out. And I'll tell you what's annoying is I bought it used. I put disc two in the DVD player, it wouldn't work. And I tried it in mine and the downstairs one, wouldn't work, and so I was, oh, I was pissed. But then, when I put it in the Blu-ray player, it was fine, so, don't know. But it's an awesome show, I love all the characters. And Busy Phillips, I think that's her name, is amazing. She's awesome. And this show, it's just about like, I guess a kind of an extended family, or at least it becomes that, an extended family and a quirky, I guess shenanigans and the fact that they drink wine a lot and just oh, the weird stuff they do, it's just really fun. Penny can and the music thing, my sexuality. <laughs> I just love it a lot. And the first couple of episodes were about Courtney Cox going after young men, hence the name Cougar Town. But then after like after six or seven episodes it becomes about the the extended family thing, which was much more interesting. So anyways, I can write about this forever. I loved it. Can't wait to watch season two. It's just if it don't like, don't brush it off because of the stupid DVD cover and the, the silly name Cougar Town. Do do watch it. Give it a go because it's very good. And you've got Ashes to Ashes uh, series one. I haven't watched this yet, of course. Uh, this is a spin-off from Life on Mars. This was four discs. I've heard the first series isn't so good, but then series two and three are. So. Um, we'll see. We'll see. He's, he's great as our film player. He's really good as, um, I can't remember his name now in the show, but the character he played on Life on Mars as well. And these guys are on Life on Mars too. Life on Mars as well. Um, yeah, I love Life on Mars, so I've been wanting to check out the spin-off for, for a while. Um, 
but according to the Guardian, it's better than life on Mars. But we'll see about that. I don't know. It's got some audio commentaries, onset designer, onset tour. Sorry, car explosion, life after Mars, behind the scenes documentary. Just yeah, one I've been wanting to check out for a while. Um, so I'm looking forward to watching that. I think it's eight episodes, is it? That's about regular for a, a UK series. Eight or so episodes. That was a nice price. Then you got Greek chapter one. Let's hurry this up. Greek chapter one, ten episodes. Uh, I haven't watched the show. I keep in my brain, I just keep wanting to say all the shows are awesome, but I haven't watched them yet. This is a college drama. I just kind of point on a whim. Uh, it's, it's chapter one because it's the first half of season one. If that makes any sense. So yeah, disc one, two, and three, uh, ten episodes. It was, I think it finished this or last year. It's a nice embossed slipcase. Yeah, but um, it's, yeah, I enjoy a good team drama, so I thought I'd check it out. Greek. First ten episodes. Then you got Afterlife, the complete series one and two, which is all the series. Oh, come on, come out of the box. So you got, yeah, series one and series two. This is about eight pounds. I reviewed series one for the real DVD watcher, so I'll put it down in my pants. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this first series. Haven't watched the second series yet. Two this It's about a medium. You can talk to the dead and this psychologist, Andrew Lincoln, is writing a book on her. But he's a sceptic and he doesn't believe at all. He's very, he thinks she's, you know, cuckoo. Uh, you got series two, which has got one of these cases where you stack the discs on top of, they stack the discs on top of each other, which is annoying. I hate that because it could scratch them but yeah this is a really good British show unfortunately it was cancelled but you know life goes on what are you going to do the first I think the first season is six episodes and the second season is eight episodes then you got Flashpoint the complete first season this is a Canadian show I haven't watched this one yet either just way too much TV to watch I just I just keep I just keep buying it even though I've just still got loads to watch that's the class of the addict, I guess. So again, this was again this is another one that was broken like there, so I taped it up, and uh, it's not very secure though. And this is um, this is broken here. The, the disc does stay in generally, but I haven't watched this yet. It was like three pounds ninety on not yeah on Amazon. It's gone up now, but that was a bargain bargain price, so I had to buy it. Uh, it was a uh, Cody who alerted me and uh, Nick to it. Uh, he was in his one of his uh, updates just recently. So check that out if you haven't watched it. I'll put a link to that update down there because more people need to check out his channel. So that's Flashpoint. I mean like £3.90, 13 episodes. You know, you just can't you just can't go wrong. And then finally, the last TV box set. You've got Rescue Me, the third season. I'm watching the second season currently. And it's a good show, if I can bloody open it. Um, it's kind of a guy's guy show, you know, very much about lads and they're, and they're, and they're like firemen and stuff. It's good, but it, sometimes it's a bit too guy for me, you know. Cause these characters are essentially the opposite of my personality. I think there's some artwork behind this. Yeah, there's some, yeah, there's some artwork behind there. Four discs, 13 episodes. It's a good show. I think it's finished. Is it finished now? Is it finishing this year? Well, it's sixth season, I think. Um, but I, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out the rest. Although, the same case with Flashpoint, none of the seasons past this set have been released in the UK or aired, I think, even. But, Rescue Me, that's a very good show. I like it a lot. I'd, I'd recommend it. Um, so that's been my update. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't rant too much. And I guess I will see you on the next one. Peace. Subscribe, motherfuckers. Yeah, bitches.